This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys, welcome back to another video of our channel. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on how to use nuclear, right? It's a very uh, popular topic in the market about bug hunting that automation is good or not. So we'll be taking a look onto that. But before going to the video, we are having two announcements here. We were having advanced batch three. Registrations are closed now. You can check out all the content in the description. And also, we are having two new courses, the information leaks and the hundred dollar recon. The first one about the information leaks is only focused on how to find information disclosures and many more things like sensitive information disclosures or PIR. And the other one, the hundred dollar recon, is completely focused on the actual recon that you have to do. It is containing around more than 65 topics only about the recon that you have to do on the website. So definitely take a look on the content, the link is in the description and let's get into the video. Okay, so here you are on our computer screen now. So as we have seen that the nuclear has been a very uh, famous topic this is on the internet that we should use automation or not. So first of all, let me show you what is nuclei. So here is the nuclei tool in short. It's a tool that can automate bug hunting process at some point right so you can simply give it a, a set of URLs, set of targets and it will just use its templates on them so what are the nuclear templates so that's a yaml files and it is going to use that thing like if we just open one there's a lot of things here if i just go to the cvs i want to find some cv latest one let me open the 24342 right so it's accesses on mojo portal how it is going to try it you can see the info the name author severity and description and the medicines are mentioned here with the references the classifications and cvss matrices are here along with the cv id which is 2023-24322 so how it is going to find it that's a procedure here like you are having the method which is get method like the base url when you use the double curly bracket with base url it is going to represent or it, uh, replace it with the actual url there that it's a testing on and this particular payload and the location here and if we get javascript alert document or domain in the response it is going to be giving us a bug out there so matcher conditions we give the matcher conditions to match in the response and give us a yes or no about the vulnerability status so these are the templates there is around 4000 or 6000 templates i'm not sure but definitely you can have a look onto that so on this one we are not exploring how to use nuclear because in the previous videos we have seen how to automate the bug hunting process using nuclear but on this video that's a controversial topic do we have to use nuclei so a lot of people are using nuclei for just for um bug hunting process like they would be simply going on to or uh, finding all the subdomains using all the subdomains into sttpx and sttpx will give them the specific alive subdomains after they'll be passing it to nuclei like this So it doesn't work like that. We have to use this thing properly because a lot of people are doing the same thing. Even if you get a bug, you report it, you are going to be, it's going to be a duplicate in short. So that's not the effective matter here. What do you have to do here then? Nuclei is automation in short and we have to use it to automate our repetitive or boring works out there. Suppose you are having a sort of, uh, let's say, phpMyAdmin endpoints. So you can make a whole list of phpMyAdmin endpoints in a particular nuclei template. So if I just take a look on my templates out there. So here I'm having few templates for phpMyAdmin. So all of them sorted out 
and these are only used for finding php my admin server status on auth setups all those things if you click on setup you can see we are having few we are having few end points of setup here so we can use nuclei in this sort of ways to save our time and give us an efficient result you can even make your own uh, templates for these things like there are few sort of ai available for making templates you can use chat gpt you can use the template maker of the project discovery so you can definitely use that one now how to create templates so you need to understand the flow of it so here i am randomly opening a simple file let's say uh, log4j or not log4j let's take a look on very simple uh, xss right so two things you need to know the yaml and the architecture of the particular template so we know that right it also based on request it also works on the request methods like get and post right we can work, use it that so you have to understand the first section which is the id that's the very simple one the name author severity description references and metadata then we have to sort out the request the request path right how it should look and then the matches and also nuclei is not only about finding vulnerabilities it can also find services in a very good manner so if you are just trying for default credentials or admin panels or exposed panels use nuclei for it that's a good helpful thing if you are having more than 10000 subdomains you can use nuclei for finding all the subdomains and their services at the conclusion i can say that nuclei is not for finding uh, bugs it on its own by using default templates you need to use the customized one or even if you are just uh, using the default templates there is a low chances that you will get it triage after all you can create your own templates you can just use it for uh, information like services the admin panels and all those things you can even use it for fuzzing there is a tools like nuclei uh, nuclei plus fuzzing uh, i will just mention the link in the description so it's a nuclei with a fuzzer and also if you want to fuzz using nuclei just type fuzzing so when you are having a end point that you want to pen test on or you want to fuzz you can use the fuzzing template from nuclei you can use this to get a lot of information when it comes to a very basic information disclosure or we'll say a very high level information disclosure this can help you in lot of things so definitely take a look on the fuzzing templates i'll mention this link to in the description or you can simply write this thing out so that was for the video thanks for watching and i hope you have learned a lot in this video if you are having any doubts or regarding the nuclear and all those things you can also drop a message down or you can check out our upcoming course about the automations